So maybe let's let's work out an example and maybe this will make it clear, right? So let's see. Um, so this is the grammar. Uh, S gives A, B, and B, C. A gives B, A, and A. B gives C, C, and small b. C gives A, B, and small a. And the string that we need to check is B, A, A, B, A. Okay. And uh, we can check that this grammar is in the Chomsky normal form. And this this mid, this uh, this grid that I have built is for uh, uh, writing the T i j. So I'll populate contents of T i j, contents of the set T i j will be populated in the respective boxes. So for instance, the bottom left box, bottom left cell corresponds to T 1 1. And we earlier when I explained, we notice notice that W11 is a symbol B. So T11 contains just the uh, the the variable small b, uh, capital B, right? And W22 uh, is a symbol A, and A is derived from both the variable A and the variable C. So we'll write both A and C in the cell 22. So Notice that the columns correspond to i and rows correspond to j. And uh, so the first first order is to fill up the uh, the diagonals like this, these diagonals. And then we will slowly move up. Uh, we will basically fill the entries above the diagonal. We will not, the, the entries below the diagonal won't be filled and they, they won't be necessary also. The third symbol is also a and which are the variables that generate a again a and c fourth symbol is b we already know that the variable b only generates this and fifth symbol is a right so now we have filled uh, the the end, the sets corresponding to the single length substrings now let us move to the substrings of length 2 so first is 1 2 right so which is which is to be filled in this this set so what we need to check is the only possible split is uh, 1 2 can only be split in 1 1 and 2 uh, 2 2 right so the is there a rule of some uh, some some variable let's say v gives so there are two possibilities so if you see the the, the 1 1 cells contain b and 2 2 cell contains ac so is there a rule where B A is generated by some variable, or is there a rule where B C is generated by some variable? If so, it will be included in the cell one two. So we you see that B A is also generated by um, B A is generated by A. Uh, B C is generated by S. Right. So S and A will be filled in one two. Now let us move to. Uh, uh, the cell 2 3 so now we have to check the combination of 2 2 and 3 3 3 so now there are four combinations the variables the, the with the variables in 2 2 and 3 3 so a a is there any um, is there any variable that derives a a there is none a c again there is none c a again there is none c c is derived by b so we fill up b here the next is 3 4 so we need to check the combinations of 3 3 and 4 4 so ab ab is derived by s as well as c then cb is not derived by anybody so it is just s and c then uh, 4 5 this this cell over here but AC and uh, so now B and AC so this is similar to the cell 1 2 because it is exactly the same uh, variables so we can just copy that S and A right so for substrings of length 2 there was only one way to split the first part uh, basically if, if you look at this cell 1 sorry this cell 1 2 The way to split is some variable is generating two other variables. The first variable should give rise to 1, 1 and the second variable should give rise to 2, 2. 
there is no other way to break a string of length 2 right the it's just the first symbol and the second symbol right because this is because the empty strings are not there right so now let us move to strings of length 3 so now let us move to this cell 1 3 so now there are two ways to split it right so 1 3 is so basically b a a there are two ways to split it it could be the case that uh, it could be the case that the split is like this right so the first part derives small b and we know that the the part that derives small b is only the capital b this cell 1 1 and the second part that derives a a we know that uh, the only way to get uh, this is given by the cell uh, sorry 2 3 yeah this one again b right so uh, is so now the, the the only way to get that is by 1 1 and 2 3 so is there a variable that gives us capital b capital b so is there a way to get capital b capital b the answer is no so you cannot get this split right so we don't fill up anything so the other possible split is this 1 2 and 3 3 so which is basically 1 2 and 3 3 so there are four combinations the combinations being so s a and a c right so the combinations are s a s c a a and a c so s a is not there in the right hand side of any rule a s c is also not there in fact it will not be there because s is a start variable right so chomsky normal form does not allow it a a and a c is are also not there so what this says is that there is no variable that allows this split also and even the earlier split there was no variable which means that uh, we cannot enter anything here so i just put a blank here which means there is no variable that uh, uh, there is no variable that generates the string b a a okay so now let us look at the entry uh, 2 4 so which is a a b okay again there are two ways to con two splits to consider a a b one is 2 uh, sorry 2 2 and 3 4 so which corresponds to 2 2 is this 3 4 is this so there are four combinations a s a c which are not there c s is not there c c is there derived by b sorry I my, my pen changed color so b so a a s a c is not there c s c c is derived by b okay the other possibility is the other possibility is 2 3 and 4 4 right so 2 3 this one and 4 4 which is basically b b and b b is not generated by anything so there is only one way to derive um, the string a a b which is from the variable b right so variable b gives c c and uh, the the first c gives a and the second c gives a b and then you get a uh, a b from that right so that's how it is now finally the last string of length 3 is a b a so now let me just consider the two splits possible which is like i have to enter this the cell right so one is 3 3 and 4 4 so a s is not there a a is also not there c s is not there right c a is also not there a s is not there a a is not there c s is not there c a is also not there so this split does not yield anything but then there is one more split to consider before uh, deciding whether the cell is empty the other split is 3 4 and 5 5 so s a is not there s c is not there s is a starting variable c a is not there however c c is there so we enter c c the generate c c is derived by b so we enter b here 
So, so now we have entered the, the, the diagonal which corresponds to substrings of length 1, then the, the substrings of length 2, then the substrings of length 3. Now let us move to the substrings of length 4. So the first substring is um, of length 4 which is 1, 4 so which corresponds to B, A, A, B. There are three possible splits, right? So we could have B and then A, A, B which corresponds to 1, 1 and 2, 4. Then B, A and A, B which is 1, 2 and 3, 4 and then uh, 1, 3, B, A, A and B. So three splits to consider. So let us see the splits. So 1, 1 and uh, 2, 4. So B, B is not generated by anything. Right? So th there is no variable that gives B, B. 1, 2 and 3, 4. S, S is not there. S, C is not there. A, S is not there. A, C is also not there. Right? In fact, three of these combinations involve S. So we do not need to check them because we cannot have S in the right hand side of a rule. A, C is also not there. So we, there is nothing to fill. Now finally 1, 3 and 4, 4, but then 1, 3 itself there is no variable that generates a substring 1, 3. So that itself is an empty case, which means there is no variable that generates the substring 1, 4. So there is no variable that generates B, A, A, B. Now let us consider the other substring of length 4, which is 2, 5, which is A, A, B A. So now there are like before we have four case uh, three splits, right? One is two two and three five. So A B is generated by S and C. C B is generated by nothing. So there is S and C already two possibilities. Then th two three and four five. 2, 3 and 4, 5. So, B, S is not there. B, A is generated by A. So, B, S is not there. B, A is generated by A. Then the possibility is 2, 4 and 5, 5. B, A which is generated by A, but A is already there. So, we do not need to add that. B, C which is already generated by S and S is already there. So, we do not need to update this. So, many combinations for the substring 2, 5. Uh, S, A and C, all of them generate the substring 2, 5, which is A, A, B, A. Okay, so now we have filled up the table for all the uh, substrings up to length, from length 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now finally, we have the entire string which is B, A, A, B, A. Right? So because it is of length 5, there are 4 splits to consider. So now let us see what are the splits. So now like, like before, so 1, 1 and 2, 5. So, B S is not there, B A is generated by A, B C is generated by S, B S is not there, B A is generated by A, B C is generated by S. So, notice that now we have that S is there in the cell T15, which is the entire string. So, we already know that. S derives the entire string, which means then the string the B A B A A sorry B A A B A is generated by the grammar. So, which is what our goal was. So, we can stop it here. But since we started, I will just like to complete the, the algorithm. Okay. So, let me just complete the algorithm. Even though at this point we know that this the, the, the start variable generates the, the required string. Okay. So, the, the combinations was 1, 1 and 2, 5. So, B S is not there. B A was generated by A. B C was generated by S. Now, then the other possibility is S uh, 1, 2 and 3, 5. So, S B is not there. A B is generated by S as well as C. So, we need to include C here. S is already there. So, that is another way to derive the same string. So, S again appears. Right. So, S A C. So, 1, 2 and 3, 5. The next possibility is 1, 3 
and 4 5. However, 1 3 is not derived by any, any, any variable. So, which means we can there is no variable that that will that can be added here. Finally, we have 1 4 and 5 5, but 1 4 also there is no variable that contributes 1 4 or that derives 1 4. So, that also does not give us anything. Right. So, which means uh, it is complete there are 5 um, we have filled um, the table for T 1 1 T 2 2 and so on then T 1 2 T 1 T 2 3 T 3 4 and so on then T 1 3 then T 1 3 2 4 3 5 then 1 4 2 5 then finally 1 5. So, finally we have that T 1 5 is basically the set S A C which means all these variables can derive the entire string. But what is of interest to us is whether the grammar derives which means whether the start variable derives and since s is here we know that uh, the start variable or the grammar derives the string. So, we would say that w so hence since s is in t15 we say that W is in LG derived by the grammar and that completes the illustration of the algorithm. Right. So, just to summarize we are given a uh, we are given a uh, grammar in Chomsky normal form and a string and we have to determine whether the string is derived by the grammar. So, what we do is we build these sets T11, T22, etc., which tell us so Tij tells us whether the Ij substring, uh, which are the variables that derive the Ij substring, and we build that starting from the smallest length substrings, so substrings of length 1, T11, T22, etc., correspond to actually substrings which are single variable, single symbols, and then we move up uh, substrings of length 2, substrings of length 3, and so on till the entire string which is also kind of a degenerate substring and we check whether the uh, the start variable is part of t1 n. So, that is the that is the algorithm that is the CYK algorithm it is a fairly standard if you if you familiar if you are familiar with dynamic programming it is this, this kind of uh, algorithmic uh, um, paradigm is kind of very standard. So, you will be very you will be able to see that it is fairly standard. And because the main the main uh, time consuming part the time consuming part is dominated by this uh, this triple uh, for loop the running time is order n cubed. Uh, so, that is the running time and the correctness is fairly evident from the way we constructed this uh, we went about doing this. And that completes the, the, the explanation of the CYK algorithm which is used to determine whether is a given a grammar in the Chomsky normal form and a string whether the string is uh, derived from the grammar. And that is it as far as lecture 18 is concerned. Um, thank you.